Guys, welcome to Tank TV, and today I'm sat in front of the 250 budget marine tank. Um, excuse currently the lever that's facing back to front. It fell off yesterday while I was doing my water change and I went and stuck it on backwards. But we'll ignore that for a second. Now, I'm in a bit of a predicament. Basically, I need to frag a few of these fuzzy mushrooms for a customer this weekend. And I can't find my frag basket to get to put the mushrooms in and get their feet or get the foot latching back onto a rock. So I thought what I'd do is I've got a couple of things lying around the fish room. Uh, if you're a fish keeper and you keep hold of equipment or you've got a fish room, it's going to be stuff that you're more than likely going to have. But what it is, is we're just going to make the frag basket and I thought why not record it so obviously I can show you guys it may be of use to you. So all you're going to need is some egg crate. Okay, if you haven't got it lying around, it's cheap enough to buy online. It's always worth having anyway. This stuff comes in use all the time. Uh, some form of decent cutting tool. I'm just using the Weiss fabric scissors because they're decent and they cut through this plastic quite easy. Don't tell her. Um, zip ties. Again, nice and cheap hardware store on Amazon. Now, there's, fur there's a fur uh, fourth option and it is optional. Um, and that's just some suckers which we may use or I'll show you what you can use them for at the end. So we'll get this put together, I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to hang it in the tank itself, get some rock in there, get, get the mushrooms in there so we can get the foot attaching back to a rock. And then in the next video I'm going to show you how to do that but I'm also going to give a second tip on how you can speed that up to about a two or three day process. Right, so nice and simple. First thing we're going to do is cut the egg crate into the shape of the box and the size of the box that we want. Now what I have done is I've taken a look while the, mushroom, while the mushrooms are open in the tank is I've kind of created it and made it to a size where three mushrooms while fully open will fit in the box. So all you're going to do, make a box pretty much nice and simple. Sides, front and back, sides, each end and then just make a fifth one, just uh, sorry a sixth one just to sit on the top for a little lid. So let's do that now. There you go, so you're pretty much done. Nice and simple, it's worked out really well because the off cut from making the two ends has made the perfect size for the lid. So all we're gonna do now is zip tie them together to make that box that the mushrooms and the rock is then gonna sit in. Um, it doesn't have to be pretty if it's temporary. Um, obviously this is only gonna be in the tank for a couple days until the weekend, until the mushrooms decide to go to their new home. Obviously if it is gonna be more um, full time, obviously tidy up the edges. I'd probably say anything, any sort of edges that you've got like, this, trim them down, smooth them down. Last thing you want is any sort of fish to catch himself and give himself a little injury. But yeah, all we do now is just zip tie these together and make a nice little box. how could my manky finger could get hold of a zip tie wouldn't it There you go, all done. Okay, so all of five, 10 minutes just to cut it up, zip tie it all together, and I've also just put a little lid on there as well, zip tied one end, obviously just to give it a bit of a lever. All we're gonna do now is we're just gonna make, with more egg crates, we're just gonna make a hanging bracket, and then like I said, that's where these become optional, depending on how confident you are on what you have made. Like I said, this is only temporary, doesn't need to be pretty. Um, again, as I, as I said earlier on in the video, if you've got any sort of sharp edges or pointy bits, just get them filed down just to stop any of the fish hurting themselves or scratching themselves or scraping along it. But now, like I said, all we're gonna do is just create a hanger with more egg crate, get the suckers in there, and then it's ready to pretty much hang in the tank.
Right, so there you go, pretty much done and made. So you've got your box that we're gonna be putting the rock and the mushroom in. I've put a little lid on there as well, just put zip ties at one end just to keep any of the hermits, crabs, snails, or any of the fish getting into the basket itself. And just again, another short bit of egg crate, followed by another bit, zip tied together, so that is now gonna hang on the tank. So it's pretty, pretty solid, okay? Now the other thing you can do, if, the reason I say these are optional, you can put these just on the inside here if you do not have faith on how well this is going to hold. But like I said, I've built this a few times, so it's pretty solid anyway. But what you would do is you just pop these suction cups just anywhere around here, just to take a bit of the weight off of, obviously how much is it, just take a bit of the weight out of the basket. And it, the reason I wouldn't use these only is because if you use these on things like heaters, you know they can cut the, you'll know that they're not always reliable. Sometimes they fall off and the last thing you want to do is come down in the morning and find all your hard work on the, on the, uh, on the sand bed, your mushrooms everywhere and floating around your tank. Um, so right, so that's pretty much made. There's your frag basket, nice and easy. Made inside, what, maximum 15 minutes. Total cost, two, three quid if we're looking at it all together. Again, so that way it's not cost me anything because everything's been lying around the tank room anyway. So now let's just get it filled with rock and get it hung in the tank. So, moment of truth, after everything's been built, just hooks on there like that, nice and easy. A little lid there. Rocks will go in there, I've taken them out. They're just soaking into my own water at the moment. I'll put them in before I go to bed. Pretty much ready for the mushrooms to go in tomorrow once they've been fragged. So just hang on there. Good bit of depth for the rock and the mushroom to sit in. Other than that, pretty easy, pretty simple. Literally something to hold your coral. In this case, it's gonna be these fuzzy mushrooms. Egg crate, zip ties, five, 10 minute job, 15 minutes tops, easy. Right, so that's pretty much it. We've made ourselves a hanging frag basket. Pretty much, like I said, egg crate, rock, zip ties, cutting tool, and some suckers, and it's a nice little homemade piece. Now, I do stuff like this all the time, like this tank is an example. It's pretty much been built on second hand, homemade, um, anything I can get my hands on to make it work, and it's functioning absolutely fine. So. I like to do stuff like this all the time. And as this tank room, as the, as the fish room gets built, I'm gonna show you guys how you can set up aquariums, whether they be fresh water or salt water, and do it on a budget and cheap as possible. Yes, we're gonna ignore the electricity prices at the moment, but there is gonna be an exciting video on how we can minimize the cost of your fish tank. Um, if you haven't already, guys, hit the subscribe button. Tune in next week, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get the feet, or pretty much how to thread the fuzzy mushrooms how to get their feet off of the rocks they're currently on, how to get their feet attached to the new rocks, and obviously we'll get them settled inside the frag box. Till next time, see you then.